do people then really understand because we've also talked in conversations about the fact that this is also you know really a watershed moment for authorization for a lot of the same reasons that you've seen that you just cited um, yeah. for zero trust we're seeing that mirrored in authorization uh, more often than not so with that in mind do people understand what role zero uh, what role authorization plays as part of a zero trust strategy and 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 maybe more specifically what's your opinion as to the role authorization plays as part of a zero trust strategy yeah um you know i, I think that i think that people i think that the market is being better educated on the role that authorization plays and even having discussions like this hopefully will will be helpful to folks as they try to you know figure figure that out the really interesting thing is when you look at the core principles of zero trust and uh, around um you know things like continuous verification of access at all points of the resource, at all points of the resource, leveraging you know models such as attribute based access control. And this isn't just about authorization. This is across you know users, devices, data, endpoints, networks, workloads. Um, those core principles have always been the foundation of externalized authorization. Right. So let's, you know, let's externalize the enforcement point. Let's apply, you know, attribute driven policies, attribute based access control. Let's get granular, fine grained policies. Let's pull, you know, context and sources in at all levels of, of the, of the uh, application and all resources to make sure that the individual or the machine that's trying to access um, this, this resource is in fact allowed to do it at this point in time. It's not about, Hey, you know what? They're allowed to do it yesterday, so they can do it today. It's no, no. Well, can they do it right now? Because the context around them may have changed, right? It, right. They move locations. They're no longer at the office. They're working from a coffee shop. Um, whatever, whatever it might be. So, uh, I, I guess the the going back to your question, do people understand? I think if you understand conceptually the idea of zero trust, then if you bring that to authorization specifically there's really two ways you, you've got to think about it. There is this need to manage authorization and there's this need to deploy authorization policies or runtime authorization policies. And that's where the confusion sometimes lays because when it comes to managing authorization, that's where we start to see things like privilege access management solutions, or I call it sort of the brains of, um, of identity and access management that are helping to kind of maintain least privilege or just in time, just in time access. Whereas, there's also actually building the physical policies for applications where for at runtime, which is where, um, for example, axiomatics fits in. And so, you know, trying to kind of decipher those two worlds a little bit can sometimes cause some confusion, but I think the market's getting better at, at, at understanding that.